Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel E. Brun. For those of you who don't know me, I'm an oculoplastic surgeon or an eye plastic surgeon working in Thousand Oaks, California. Today I'm going to talk about what we recommend after we do our Botox injections. So I get questions from patients all the time. What am I allowed to do and not do after my Botox injection? So the first thing to understand is that when we draw up Botox, it's a protein, and we draw it up into a saline type solution, and we allocate the right number of units in a syringe, and then with a very, very small gauge needle between a 30 and 32 gauge needle, we'll go around and we'll place it in the areas we want to place it. When we first put the Botox in, you'll see a little raised mound, almost like a little tiny mosquito bite. And what that is, that's the fluid that the Botox is in under the skin in the area of the muscle. So the first recommendation is don't press or manipulate or massage that area. That fluid will get absorbed by the body relatively quickly, typically in 10 to 15 minutes, and it'll disappear. And the worry is that if we press or move that fluid, we can push the Botox that's in that fluid to areas where I don't want it to be. We're doing the Botox with a lot of precision. We're putting it exactly in the right muscle at the right depth. We don't want it to go to the tissues that are nearby or around it because that would affect the results. And so we definitely don't want to press or massage the area of the Botox. Not only do we not want to press or massage it, but we don't want to accidentally move that Botox around by doing things that could manipulate that tissue in a different way. So what I mean by that is, once the Botox is in, we don't want to apply makeup. We don't want to apply moisturizer. We don't want to lie down and press our head against a pillow. We don't want to do some really um, aggressive aerobic physical activity where we're getting the blood pumping and maybe potentially getting that Botox to move. It used to be that before we really knew kind of the dynamics of exactly what was happening, we would tell patients to be careful for a full day. When I started doing Botox over 20 years ago, we would say, don't touch it, don't massage it for a full day. What we know now is that after two hours, the Botox is gonna stay where it's placed. It won't move beyond that two hour period. So we wanna be as careful as we can about massaging and makeup and moisturizer and exercise and lying down and all those activities for the two hours after we do the injection. And then beyond that point, it's very safe to resume normal activity. I hope this is really helpful in understanding how to best take care of yourself after a Botox injection and thanks for listening.